Shalom, shalom, and welcome back to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. And this is going to be based off of a dream I had earlier this month. I had a dream that a FedEx truck came and had packaged. It was for me. It had wine, cheese, and fruits, big boxes, but I didn't order them. I was in shock. I was asking the delivery man, was it mine? He was telling me yes and even checked my ID. So this person that was in my dream, they were telling me, no, it's not for you. It's probably for somebody else. I just remember being confused, but I kept eating the grapes. They were so good. Like these fruits was just like the best fruits I ever tasted. They were like so rich. Like they were really, really good. As he was leaving, um, he asked to use the restroom. So I let him use the restroom. And But I was in a different house. He left and I told the person, maybe it was from YouTube that sent me, sent me the royal packages. Okay. And this is how the Lord broke this dream down to me. The wine means the Bible speaks of wine as a blessing. Cheese, positive news, gains, profits. Profits means a financial gain. Gain means favorable. Favorable means approve. Fruit equals the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. So the individuals in my dream was trying to tell me, no, they are probably for someone else. This means you have people around you that are not happy about what God is doing in your life. They think someone else deserves these things. Maybe they work longer or they just don't think you qualify. Maybe you don't have the titles. You don't have the degrees, whatever it may be, but God has chosen you. In the dream, I was confused, but I kept eating the fruits. They were good, something I never experienced. This part of the dream meant don't get confused on what God is doing in your life. Don't ever feel like you're not worthy. God chose you. It's you. Yes, you. So you should keep pushing. No devil in hell can stop God's plan for your life. When the, when the delivery man was leaving, he asked to use the bathroom. The bathroom represents freedom and cleansing. You have been free from all bondages and strongholds. God has cleaned and purified you. You have been made into his likeness and image. He has did a major transformation in your life. The part where I was in a different house means God has given you a new life. You're in alignment for what he has for you. The part where I was telling this person, maybe it was a royal gift that I received from YouTube was God's way of saying, welcome to the family. We are kings and queens in his eyes. Know who you are. You were made for such a time as this. God has made you royal. You have won the kings of kings favor. You have caught his eye and stolen his heart. The Lord is enthralled by your beauty. Psalms 45 and 11. God loves elevates you from the state of an orphan to the status of a honored king and queen. No matter who you are, where you've been, even if you don't feel worthy of being called God's beloved, God crowns you with his work. So bow your head in humility and feel the love of God place a crown on your head. First Peter um, chapter two, verse nine. But you are chosen people, a royal priesthood priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possessions that you may declare the, the praise of him who calls you out of darkness into his wonderful light. <laughs> God is about to overtake you with spiritual and in the natural blessings. Your finances is coming. Your ministry will flourish. Your health, your healing, your purpose, your destiny. He is about to flood you with blessings. Things you didn't even go to him in prayer for. The Lord is doing this in this hour right now. And when he just made me go back into my, uh, my journal and read, he, he was telling me to give this word this morning and the way he broke it down to me like you don't have to worry about living in poverty no more you don't have to worry about your health no more you don't have to worry about your business your ministry like god provides god has everything complete <laughs> you know it's just complete it's in his order on his time he he had a plan for you this whole time that's why you had to go what you went through 
during this year. I know it was kind of hectic, but it built you. It made you stronger. You are the person you are today because of the Lord. He has made you kings and queens. He has made you kings and queens. We are kings and queens. We're a royal. Welcome to the family. This is what the Lord is saying. Welcome to the family. He's about to overtake you with so many blessings, so many miracles, just spiritually and naturally. Like, get ready. Get ready. Prepare your heart because for what he's about to do, we're not even going to be able to understand it. We're not going to be able to understand it, family. It's here. It's here. It's here. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. It is here. It's your time. It's your time, says the Lord. Pick your head up. Pick your head up. It is your time. It's you. God has chosen you. God has chosen you for a time like this. Receive your crown in Jesus' name. <laughs> Kisses. God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Shalom.